He also hinted at a possible political comeback in the future. News for Rena Novini in the newsroom. More on that. And Rena, he also pardoned a man once convicted in a New York federal court. Yeah, David, that last minute pardon going to the ex husband of Fox News host Janine Pirro. Uh, before he left for Florida, now former President Trump told his supporters he will always fight for them. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please welcome, welcome the President and First Lady of the United States. Introduced as president for the final time, Donald Trump addressing supporters at Joint Base Andrews, hinting he's not done with politics. A goodbye. We love you. We will be back in some form. Hours before he left Washington, the outgoing president granted pardons and commutations to nearly 150 people, including his former chief strategist, Steve Bannon, who pleaded guilty to defrauding donors in a Build the Wall fundraising campaign. The prison sentence of Dr. Solomon Melgen was also commuted. He's the Democratic donor and friend of New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez, who defrauded elderly patients on Medicare. And in a last minute move, Trump granted a full pardon to Albert Pirro, the ex husband of Fox News host Janine Pirro. He was convicted on conspiracy and tax evasion charges in 2000. It is my greatest honor and privilege to have been your president. Mr. Trump did not issue preemptive pardons to himself or members of his family. He's the first outgoing president in more than 150 years to skip the inauguration of his successor, instead leaving for Florida before it started on these words. So, have a good life. We will see you soon. Now, according to the White House, former President Trump did leave President Biden a note in the Oval Office. That is a longstanding tradition of outgoing presidents. We don't know, though, the contents of that note. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rana Novini, News 4, New York.